The Volvo XC40 is a luxury crossover. It's an entry level vehicle. It's a European sedan that comes in three trim levels and there's really a lot offered here. If you want to hear more, stay right with us. Welcome to Car Coach Reports. I'm Lauren Fixon. Today in this lovely rainy weather in Buffalo, we are test driving the 2020 Volvo XC40. It comes in three trim levels. It comes in two, well, it comes in a two liter engine, but it also has a hybrid engine, which we can talk about in a different review. We are talking about the two liter engine. It's a turbocharged engine, tons of safety, tons of performance, good handling. It's a European entry level luxury crossover. Let's take it for a ride. When you have a vehicle for a week, you never know what the weather's going to bring in. Today has brought us some lovely rain, and that's okay because actually it's really good to see how a vehicle handles in the rain and how it performs in the rain. And, you know, one of the things when you're buying a Volvo XC40, it's something you're going to drive every day. It's not a sports car where you might park it in your garage in the rain, but it's something that you want to utilize and see how people live with it so that I can help give you some really great advice which is why we give you the car coach report ratings so we can give you a good feel for what you're going to experience when you own the actual vehicle. So when you're in the rain usually I start with performance but this time I'm going to start with handling because that is a very important factor. People are very concerned about hydroplaning in the rain and that is something that you don't want. The tires that come with the Volvo XC40 won't last forever, but the ones that are coming with this car are really good for channeling water. Now, because I live in lovely cold climate of Buffalo, we also have snow. So we've driven this car on snow and ice because of the transition between in and rain. And I have to say, from a handling standpoint, this vehicle gets an eight. Now we are driving the T5R design, which is an all wheel drive. You can buy it in front wheel drive as well. Again, if you're going to be driving in deeper snow, like we get here, I highly suggest winter tires. It just makes the most sense. And we have a video here, the difference between all season and winter tires, something you should look at. There are two engines that come with the Volvo XC40. You've got your two liter turbo, and if you buy the T5, two liter turbo is a T4, you'll find that it gets a little bit more power, which again is a personal choice, but I do like all wheel drive. No matter what the conditions, whether you're driving up north or down south, it's always nice to have all wheel drive. Even if you drive on the beach, all wheel drive is a much better option. And when it comes to performance, this is very acceptable in a very busy category of everybody offering two liter turbos. And I have to say the performance on this vehicle is good, really good, and it deserves an eight. Safety is a really important factor. And when you buy any Volvo, you'll know that safety is huge for Volvo. They even have a mandate that says in the future, they want to have nobody killed in a Volvo. That's a nice thing to have. The problem is obtaining that. So what have they done? They've created some really cool technologies, including pilot assist, which helps keep you between the white lines, which is only good if there are white lines. And the road I'm on now has no white lines, and it is a pretty good north-south road. And that's a problem because with no lines, doesn't work. The adaptive cruise control is excellent on this vehicle. There's lane change, departure, blind spot detection, cross traffic alert, tons of safety. Volvo's always known for safety and they invented the seatbelt. So I'm going to give Volvo a 10 for safety. It's up to you if you use these safety features and learn how to use them. It's to your advantage. When it comes to visibility, we've got these wiper blades going so you can kind of see. It's kind of a small back window and nice that the headrests fold down. For visibility, I'm giving it an 8. The reason I didn't give it a higher rating is the door sills are a little high, so it sort of limits some of your downward vision, but overall, great visibility. When it comes to seating comfort, he has four-way lumbar. Thank you, you get the thumbs up for that. Uh, but the seating comfort overall is great. It offers heated seats and a heated steering wheel, no air-cooled seats. Is that necessary? No. The seats are good. There's a little bit of movement from side to side. Again, we're all built differently, so make sure to sit in the vehicle. Seating comfort is a priority. Before you buy a vehicle, make sure you sit in front and in back so you can get a good feel. It gave it a seating rating of 8. There's a lot of technology on this car and the technology is great because it helps you be safer on the road and the interface is actually faster in the XC40 than in the XC90 I recently reviewed and so you might want to look at that also if you're thinking about the bigger vehicle. I think they've updated the processor in the 2020 XC40. The technology is very intuitive and I give it an 8. There are a lot of features in this vehicle. There are a lot of packages available in the Volvo XC40 and when you start adding on these features it can get expensive like in any car. If it's all included like in some vehicles 
that makes it more reasonable. You kind of know where you're going to stand when you're looking at purchasing a vehicle. So keep in mind that when you look at the price of the car, add in all those goodies you need and those you want, and you may have to back down on it depending on your price point. And also don't forget to check your insurance ratings. It's really a great idea because you don't know when you add all that in what the cost is to replace it if you're in an accident. For features, I gave it an 8. The design of the Volvo XC40 is really nice. I love this orange interior. Very cool. It's just a highlight. It's not orange everywhere. It's not too much in your face. Uh, it, is it dated? I don't know. It might be down the road. I love unique colors like red interiors and orange interiors. And again, that is something that is a personal choice. I have a lot of friends that prefer the muted grays and beige interiors. It's all up to you. However, the design overall is really impressive on the XC40. When it came out in 2019, we really liked it. And there's a lot of value, a lot of design in this vehicle. For design, we gave it an 8. When it comes to build quality, that's something a little different. This is a European car, and if you're thinking, oh, it's not German, it doesn't have to be. It's a European built car and built very precisely. And if you look at the build quality, you're going to see it's very impressive and it earns a nine. In the trunk of the T5 R design, which is all wheel drive, you've got great trunk space. What I really like is the fact that you've got this nice separator, which allows you to put things here or groceries back there. I found it really useful when you go to Costco and you've got all these items. One of the things I really like about Volvo is Care by Volvo. It's a program when you pay your monthly payment, you can get a subscription. But in addition to that, they have a program for all Volvo owners over the entire life of the brand. If you get the maintenance done by them, they'll back it up. If you have parts replaced or service work done, they'll guarantee it. They have a full program on their website. So if you've got an old P1800 or maybe an earlier XC60, you'll be thrilled to check that out. So go to their website if you're a Volvo fan. I used to be a member of the Volvo Club of America a long time ago. A friend of mine had a P1800. We had a great time, lots of rallies, lots of fun people. So value-wise, you're looking at the price of this vehicle from the entry level all the way up to the T5R design or even the Momentum or the Inscription. Those are the three trim levels. You'll find that Volvo has really great value. And so I gave it a 9, giving it a total score for Car Coach Reports of 83. Really great value in this car. I think it's overlooked by many people, but their sales have been tremendous. And the awards they've won with their full lineup, whether it's the wagons, the sedans, or the SUVs, have been very impressive. If you want to see some of our other reviews, just check out over here. We've done the XC90 recently, plus some of the other cars that might be of interest to you. All social media and more details are down below. I didn't want to bury you with some of the details like fuel economy and all that. It's all right there printed for you, so you can go back and reference it when you compare it to the other vehicles. Don't forget get to check your insurance ratings before you make a final decision on these vehicles because sometimes it's substantially lower because of the safety which is really really important thank you so much for watching make sure to put your comments down below if you're a volvo fan as well we would love to get your feedback and we thank you so much for subscribing and sharing and we'll see you next time have a great day